welcome to episode 13. This will be okay, right? We are here in May 13th with the 13th episode where anything can happen. But before we get into any of the action, make sure you go down and hit that subscribe button. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 13. This will be okay, right? This is our opening contest and this is the first round Rising Phoenix Tournament match. Making her way to the ring, this is Alpha. So welcome along, this is the opening match of episode 13 and it is an opening round tournament match for the Rising Phoenix title. Of course, Alpha was the winner of the relegation match at the Wednesday Night Wars to earn her spot in this tournament. But she will be going up against the lady who won. And introducing their opponent. Who won the whole of the Wednesday Night Wars. She is the winner of season three of the Wednesday Night Wars. Sonia Deville. So well, Sonia Deville debuted here in season three of the Wednesday Night Wars where she dominated and remains undefeated here in NFHW. Can she keep that streak going against Alpha? And I don't think Sonia Deville has ever been in the ring with anyone with the strength of the Alpha. So this is going to be a tough, tough test for her. And will she be able to keep that winning streak alive? We will be finding out very, very shortly. We have got Gary refereeing the opening contest here this evening. As Gary calls for the bell. Both ladies come out locking up. Alpha picking up Sonia Deville onto her shoulder. Big slam into the mat. And that is what Sonia Deville is going to have to contend with in this match. The sheer power of Alpha. Alpha dropping that knee. Bringing Sonia back up to feet. Sonia uses that leverage to take Alpha down. Drives a big knee strike into the side of the head of Alpha. And goes to the ankle lock, but too close to the ropes. Alpha quickly making sure that hold is broken. But Sonia Deville now working that leg again, just wrenching the ankle. And that is going to slow Alpha down. Sonia Deville giving up some size and power in this match, but powering through. But that shot just blocked Alpha. Pressing, pressing Sonia Deville over her head. And that is a long, long way down for Sonia Deville. Alpha just taking Sonia Deville face first into that canvas. Oh, but Sonia Deville blocks that, that strike. Comes back on her own. Oh, lovely power slam maneuver. Takes Alpha down and down heavy. And once again, going back to work on the ankle of Alpha. Trying to slow that bigger opponent down. Sonia Deville brings Alpha up and down. Could that be enough? Here is your winner, Sonia Deville. Sonia Deville going through to the semi-finals for the Rising Phoenix Championship. And I've got to say, I am surprised just how easily Sonia Deville handled Alpha there to progress through. But we are not going to hang about. It is now time for tag team action. And the tag team championships will be on the line. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is for the NFHW Tag Team Championship. Introducing first. They are the team of Cuban Heat and Kieran Donnelly. CBD. 
Of course, both of these teams met last week here in the pre-show, but that was a six-man contest where both Blake and the Party Boy, who are up against each other for the Ascension title later tonight, were both involved. The Party Animals picked up the victory in that match, although Cuban Heat definitely had hold of that bottom rope. So because of the result of that match, there is a lot of heated feelings here tonight. But this time, it is just Kieran Donnelly and Cuban Heat with a chance at picking up those tag team titles from the party animals here this evening. But that is going to be easier said than done. Both members of CBD are in the ring. Introducing their opponents. Waiting the arrival of the champions. They are the current NFHW Tag Team Champions, the team of the Calypso Cat, the Party Poodle, the Party Animals! There they are, the Party Animals, on a roll here in NFHW. Since they picked up that victory over the British Mavericks to capture the belts, But it only takes three seconds for the belts to change hands. Can they keep hold of them here tonight? And don't let their persona fool you. Both the Party Poodle and the Calypso Cat are two very accomplished wrestlers. But of course, so is Kieran Donnelly and Cuban Heat. And let's not forget, Cuban Heat is a former Ascension title champion. So he knows the members of the party animals well. As he lost that belt to Party Boy Glazer Gates. So now it is the chance for him to regain some gold here in NFHW. As Barry holds the tag team titles are loft for the world to see. And we have got the Calypso Cat starting out with Cuban Heat. As Barry calls for the bell, Calypso comes in on Cuban. Calypso going up to that top rope. Lovely leverage manoeuvre. Taking Cuban Heat down and hits that shooting star press. Calypso Cat is so agile, so quick. And he hits that corkscrew splash. Cuban Heat is in trouble in this early stages. And a moonsault. Springboard moonsault connects on a lovely tilt and whirl backbreaker into the pin. Cuban Heat just managing to kick out before three. But his tag partner didn't look worried there. Now Calypso going for that submission. Cuban powering out there. Strikes. Gets that strike into the side of the head of the, of the cat. But Calypso cat back up. Tag into the Party Poodle. Party Poodle comes in. Cuban Heat just trying to crawl across to the other side of the ring. Unsuccessfully. Another cover. Kieran not taking any chances this time. Make sure that that hold is broken. Party Poodle getting jiggy with that elbow. And it connects. And a headbutt by the Poodle. As Party Poodle brings Cuban back up to his feet. Gets him up onto his shoulder. Oh, just launches Cuban to the outside. That is a long way down. And that is some heavy impact. Cuban trying to hit that clothesline, but no power behind it. And the Calypso Cat and Donnelly brawling on the other side of the ring. Barry is losing control of this match. But he has got the count going on Cuban Heat and the Party Poodle. 
as Cuban back in the ring, Party Poodle looking a little dazed on the outside. Referee up to a five count. Of course, the titles can only change hands on a pinfall or submission. Any other result, then the party animals will keep hold of those belts. And now Cuban just wrenching the back of the po poodle, the Calypso cat, is in like a shot to break that up. But he's pays for it as Cuban launches him over that top rope. Cuban Heat not made a tag yet. Cuban going for that fisherman buster. Cuban Heat in for the cover. Just a two. And we are still yet to see Donnelly in this match legally. Cuban Heat should be making the tag in my opinion. But he brings the party poodle round but too close to the ropes. And once again, he gets himself distracted by the Calypso Cat, giving Party Poodle that time to recover. And that is why the Party Animals are such a dangerous tag team. They work so well together. And now, finally, we see Kieran Donnelly in the ring as Donnelly goes up to that top rope. Splash! But the Poodle brings up those knees but misses that big strike there, but doesn't miss those, drops Donnelly. Cuban Heat making sure that didn't go down, breaking up the pinfall. And the party Poodle. Oh, goes that headbutt, but Donnelly gets out of the way. And the Poodle just drove his own head into the floor there. Donnelly in control. Brings the Poodle up. Oh, just lawn darts him into that second rope turnbuckle. Into the cover. Calypso Cat breaking up the hold. Donnelly staying focused on the Poodle. Oh, beautiful manoeuvre by Donnelly into that backbreaker. And once again, the Calypso Cat breaks up the cover and gets launched over that top rope. I must say, though, there's not a lot of tag team continuity here this evening between Cuban and Donnelly. Both seem to want to hog the spotlight in the ring. And they've only been one tag so far by that team. And the Poodle plants Donnelly. Donnelly makes the tag into Cuban Heat. Cuban comes in, catches the Poodle with that kick. Sends him over that top rope. Going to follow up. Cuban on the outside. Purdy Poodle back up though, but Cuban blocks that attack. Snap suplex onto the arena floor. That is gonna hurt. But the party poodle takes Cuban down with that dragon screw and is back in control and back in the ring. Party poodle just playing now with Cuban Heat, just taunting him, and Cuban Heat getting distracted by the crowd but manages to keep the wits about him, catches the Party Poodle. Party Poodle gets that tag to the Calypso Cat. And now the cat, oh, misses that springboard moonsault. As Cuban turns his attentions to the Poodle and once again pays for losing focus. You need to keep your eyes on the legal man in the match. And now Calypso just dropping those elbows onto the leg of Cuban Heat. Up to the top rope, long way away, but hits that corkscrew into the pin. Donnelly breaking up the cover though. Calypso launches Donnelly to the outside. Calypso going back to the top rope once again. 
Waiting for the poop. Waiting inside for Cuban to get to his feet. Hurricane Runner connects. And once again, the cat is up to that top rope. And another corkscrew splash. Cat back up. I've lost count of how many times Calypso went to that top rope. But it was one too many. But nice counter there by the cat. Gets himself back in control. As he sets, sends, Q, sends Cuban off the ropes, through the legs, up. Another runner takes Cuban Heat over into the cover. Donnelly nowhere to be seen. Here are your winners and still NFHW Tag Team Champions, the Party Animals. And the party animals successful here tonight. So they are going to retain the NFHW Tag Team titles. But we are not going to hang around for long. Because we do have another tag, not tag team match. We have another title match coming up. As the partners of those two teams will face each other. And one of them will walk away with the Ascension title. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is for the NFHW Ascension Championship. Introducing the challenger. As we hear the music once more, will that victory? He is the party boy, Garaza Game. Will that victory of his teammates boost the confidence here of Garaza Gates, who is a former two-time Ascension champion? And both times he has lost that belt has always been in a triple threat match. He has never lost the belt in a one-on-one -on -one match. And he was the first ever Ascension title holder. Will he be able to win it back here tonight though? That remains to be seen. As his opponent is definitely has that size and weight and strength advantage over the party boy Grazagates. And introducing his opponent. This party boy waits the arrival of the champion. He is the current reigning and defending NFHW Ascension Champion. The Powerhouse Blade. There he is, the NFHW Ascension Champion Blake. Notable is the absence of Donnelly and Cuban. Normally they are right behind Blake in every one of his matches. But they are not here tonight. Will that make a difference? We will see shortly. But the party boy definitely has his work cut out for him in this match. Just the sheer strength advantage alone of Blake. Party boy is going to have to use his speed, use his agility to make sure he doesn't get pinned down by the bigger opponents. But we are just moments away from this match and we've got Larry refereeing this one as he holds that belt aloft. As we take a look at the party boy and the powerhouse and we get the bell. Grazer Gates, oh Grazer Gates goes down low with that strike into the, that drop kick, catching Blake by surprise there. And this is what Grazer needs to do, he needs to not match strength with the bigger man. So he's going for that submission, but Blake manages to find a way out. 
Oh, this is this is what the party boy did not want to happen. He did not want to get caught up in in the grip of Blake. But the party boy catches Blake in the sternum with that elbow. But it hardly phases Blake. Now Grazza in place on that top rope. Oh, big belly to belly from the ropes. Could that be enough? Just a two count. But the party boy barely getting his shoulder off the floor. There's Blake now. Oh, party boy manages to catch Blake. And once again, going for that neck breaker. He hits it. He hits that neck breaker on Blake. And I think we're going to see it. I think we're going to see the party elbow. It connects to the heart of Blake. And that was enough. FHW Ascension Champion, the Party Boy, Graza Gate. Once again, Graza Gate regains the Ascension title, and he is now the th three time champion. And, and who is going to be able to take that belt away from him? when it is not a triple threat match but it is once again time for tag team action and the women's titles will be on the line ladies and gentlemen the following contest is for the nfhw women's tag team titles introducing the challengers the team of violet obsession and summer dew the bb bun there were the challengers, the BP Bunch, who picked up the victory over the Battle Cats to earn the shot here tonight. And of course, a lot has gone down with the Battle Cats, but more on that later. We're going to stay focused on this match. As Summer Dew and Violet Obsession enter the ring, getting that crowd going waving around their bonbons. But they have got a tough challenge here tonight. And introducing their opponents. As we wait the arrival of the champions. They are the current reigning NFHW Tag Team Champions. The team of Felony and Philomela. Of course, Felony and Philomela were only put together in a tag team because they were both victorious in the Wednesday Night Wars to earn that title shot against the select group where they were successful and have retained those titles ever since. And you've got to think Mr. Line is ecstatic about that. And he does not want to see those belts disappear from the family here tonight. But we are just moments away from this match. And we have got Gary Reckley in this one. As he holds those belts up, showing the world what this match is all about and what it is for. And we've got Summer Dew starting off against Felony. As he calls for the bell. Felony coming out strong, catches Summer Dew, but Summer blocks with a strike of her own there. Sends Felony into the corner and now just wrenching the arm over that top rope. And now going to work on the leg picking apart the body of felony floats through oh a double underhook german suplex and i think felony might have caught her head on that bottom turnbuckle felony has not moved since she took that impact but violet obsession doesn't seem to care about the health of felony 
as she rolls it into that bow and arrow lock. Villamella in there breaking up the submission. As Violet sends Villamella over that top rope. But that gave Felony enough time to recuperate. And now Felony in control, picking up Violet. And guillotines over that top rope. It's Felony now bringing up Violet again. What's she looking for here? Whatever it was, Violet didn't want to find out. With a big kick. Oh, goes that big disc at punch. But Felony catches her. And a headbutt drops Violet in the corner. And both ladies here just exchanging blows. But Felony, sorry, is down. Just a two count, though. We nearly had new tag team champions. We've got a tag in, Summer Dew. Felony desperately trying to make that tag to Philomela. She gets there. And Philomela catches Summer Dew with that kick. Brings up Summer. And a big Death Valley driver. That's some big impact. Going to take the wind out of Summer Dew. But Summer Dew trying to create some distance. Catches Philomela. Going to work now on the arm of Philomela. Put Philomela back up. Handspring. She gets that head scissors. Takes Summer over. Tag into Felony. Felony just drives Summer down. Summer trying to block. But into that Judy Katami. Violet Obsession breaking up that arm lock there. Felony spins some around. Picks him up. Big body slam. Violet just standing in the ring. Gets sent out over that top rope right by Mr. Line. Big elbow drop. And it is over. Your winners and still the NFHW Women's Tag Team Champions, Philomela and Felony. Summer Dew having the win knocked out of her sows there with that elbow drop. And Philomela and Felony once again walk out victorious and keep hold of those titles. But now there is more action. So let me hand you over to our ring announcer. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for the NFHW Women's Title Match. This match is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first. Once again, Terry demonstrating his amateur magic skills there by disappearing and appearing into the ring. But yes, this is for the NFHW Women's Championship. And we see Willamella make not Willamella making her way to the ring without her former now former tag team partner Kelly, who has found herself in the Wednesday Night Wars. But what an opportunity Willamella has here tonight. She has got a chance at walking out the NFHW Women's Champion. But there is only one thing that stands between her and, accompli and accomplishing that task. And by, and by no means of the imagination is it a small thing. As we take a look. Kayla Hatton. The W. The W? What am I on about? The NFHW. That's where we are. The NFHW Women's Champion. She won the eight man tournament at For the Love of Gold to become the first ever champion. And despite one little hiccup against Jenna. 
She has held that title since last November. And she has been a force to be reckoned with. With that MMA background, she is so dangerous in the ring. She is so proficient at those submissions. She is a very, very dangerous lady. But can Willamella overcome that here tonight? We will find out in mere moments. We have got Larry refereeing oh, this all important contest. Right, the challenger, Willamina. I've been saying Willamella. I do apologise. I, I blame Philamel. I thought it was in my head. This is Kayla Hatton. Yes, Willamella. Willamina. Willamina, not Willamella. Like I say, I do apologise. I can only think it's because I've just called the match with Philomela. In fact, I'm just going to call Willamina Willow for this match. I know she doesn't mind going by Willow. But there is the title. Larry holding it aloft for the world to see. And one of these women will be walking out of here tonight with that gold. Willow coming in strong, big head, but Willow, I think, definitely has the power here in this match. Oh, big clothesline, turning Kayla Hatton inside out, and Willow launches Kayla across the ring, but walks straight into that kick. Kayla Hatton now trying to separate the shoulder of Willow. Kayla to the top rope, Moonsault connects. Just a two count. Kayla Hatton is so dangerous. She has turned the tide of this match. But Willow goes for that drop kick, but Kayla manages to block. But Willow blocks that attack and misses that jumping clothesline. That could come back to haunt her, that mistake. And a dirty, dirty suplex. Willow coming down on the top of her head. And there it is. There's that submission, but too close to the ropes. Cover. And Willow was so lucky to be close to the ropes there. We have seen what that submission can do. I think Kayla Hatton has made everyone she wrestles with tap out to that at some point. And she's going for it again. She's got it hooked in. Can Willow find a way out of this? Willow is interrupting the Willow submitted. Here is your winner by way of submission and still NFHW Women's Champion, Kayla Hatton. Kayla Hatton. Once again victorious by submission, proving just how dangerous a wrestler she is and just how much she deserves to be the NFHW Women's Champion. Who is going to be able to knock Kayla Hatton off of that pedestal? I, I honestly do not know. But now it is time for the men's championship to be decided as Fentos will be defending against Robert Sharp. So let me hand you over to our ring announcer. For our main event of the evening, and it is for the NFHW Championship. Introducing the competitors. There he is, the challenger, Robert Sharp, who has earned this number one contenders contendership title by winning two number one contendership matches. Of course, he was meant to be having that match for the belt here tonight, 
against Xander Cooper. But Ventos made sure things weren't going to go that way when he cashed in his title deeds last at episode 12 after the show when Xander Cooper was on his way home. Ventos cashed in that title deeds in the car park and beat down Xander so badly that the referee just stopped the match and awarded it to Ventos. But we have to think, does Ventos deserve that title? He has not really been tested. But he will be tested here today when he stepped into the ring with the mighty ducky Robert Sharp. But whatever you think of him, Ventos is the NFHW champion. And this is his first title defense. And you don't have long to wait to see if he deserves to wear the gold. But we have got Barry refereeing this final match of episode 13. Introducing first to my right, the challenger. He is the mighty ducky, Robert Sharp. And introducing the current reigning and defending NFHW champion, the mathematical genius, Fentos. Just look at the size of Fentos. He's dwarfing Robert Sharp. And Robert Sharp is a big, big man standing around 6'3", six, 6'4", six, himself. But the mathematical genius just making him look small. I mean, Barry, he's a regular sized guy. And both of these two wrestlers are just mahoosive. It's Ventos looking ready, looking to prove that he deserves that belt. Comes out with those attacks, but Rob Sharp blocks. But doesn't block that. It's taken down by that clothesline. Ducks underneath that one, though. But again, Ventos catches him. Oh, pop up, pop up, spine buster. Rob Sharp nearly picking up that victory in the opening moments of this match. There's Rob Sharp now. Big kick to the back of Fentos. But Fentos rolls through. Driving the, his knee into the hamstring of Robert Sharp. Going for that submission, Robert Sharp being bent, nearly broken in two by Fentos. But Sharp manages to power out of that one, but can't capitalize. Fentos relentless with those attacks and a big stamp there. Just takes Sharp down. Again, just a two count, Fentos. Looking a bit stunned by that. I don't think he expected Sharp to go. There it is, the mathematical slam. And that was it. That was it. Still NFHW champion, Ventor. Well, if there was any doubt in anybody's mind about the worthiness of Ventos to wear the NFHW title, that has now been dispelled. He proved that he should be the NFHW champion. But that is going to be it for this one. Make sure you join us again here at NFHW.